Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about gerbils and bathing. So, gerbils are naturally found in the deserts in the wild, so they are not really exposed to much water ever. So, they do not go swimming in a lake and you should never actually bathe a gerbil with water. It is really never necessary. If your gerbil is to get a stain on the bum from rolling in urine when they're in playtime or something similar and they're not ill with diarrhea, using a baby wipe is very helpful and can just quickly clean the bottom. But otherwise, you will never need a liquid to clean your gerbil. Now, as you can see, Miss Anastasia has just woken up and she is a little bit oily. And that is because the sand bath has gotten quite gross. As in the deserts, gerbils actually use the sand to go to the bathroom. So this is a great way to litter train your gerbils. But you will need to give them sand baths at least every few days, at least once a week. But I like to give my gerbils unlimited um, access to a sand bath. You will need to dump out all of the feces, fecal matter, um, and urine from your sand bath. If the sand bath gets stuck with yarn like this, you'll need to thoroughly wash and dry it out. For sand bath, you will need a chromatic bowl or a ceramic bowl. You do not need it to be very thick. Mine is only an inch or two deep, and I got this from the dollar store for only a dollar. So this is a great idea is just to get a simple dollar store bowl and to fill it very shallowly with sand. You will also need some bathing powder. I am using the Super Pet Bathing Sand. I do not recommend using um, chinchilla dust. You can find this at any pet store. Um, chinchilla dust is not recommended due to the finer particles that can actually get into the um, gerbils respiratory system which can have quite negative effects on your gerbils so I definitely recommend using sand. I have bought a large pack of five or six packets and I have had the gerbils definitely quite a few months and I still have two packets left. To keep the packets closed and into a safe container you can either put them into a ziploc bag or close them safely with a small paper clip or binder clip. After removing the binder clip Pour some of the sand shallowly into the bowl. Remember, your dribbles are not going to be swimming in the sand. They will only need enough to roll in it. I have three dribbles, so I like to thoroughly cover the bottom of the bowl. Don't forget to re-wrap up your bag. And I now just shake around the sand in order to get it um, along the bottom of the bowl. So that is all you need. There's not much in there at all. And this will be enough to satisfy your gerbils for them to roll in. Um, now whenever the gerbils are going, they are going to produce fecal matter and urinate within the sand bath. So in order to keep it clean, you can use a sifter to sift it out every day. But this will be used as a litter box after a few hours. So you need to remember to replace it every few days. Gerbils have a tendency to dig bedding over their bowls, so I recommend putting your sand bath on a higher ledge, such as a house or a hidey. Now just wait and see as your gerbils fall lick in the sand and roll in it. As Natalia is wonderfully demonstrating, gerbils will roll like this into their sand to thoroughly clean themselves and reduce the oils that naturally occur in their skin. The, oil, the sand bath sort of acts like a dry shampoo. My sand bath is large enough to fit about two gerbils out of the three, so eventually they'll have to learn to take turns. Anastasia here doesn't like to roll as feverishly as the other two, but she still will continue to dig and roll her belly and her tail in the sand. This is a natural act for gerbils, and you will not have to teach them how to do this, but it should be done at least weekly. Their fur does get a bit oily when they cuddle and play together, so it's definitely a positive thing to give them a sand bath, and it's great for the health and health, and it also improves their fur coat. Matilda is also demonstrating this. Black gerbils tend to turn a little bit gray when they take their sand baths um, due to the color of the coat and the color of the sand, but do not worry, the sand will eventually rub off and their fur will remain relatively clean and dry. You don't want them overly oily as um, 
the natural oils and the human hair also have a similar effect. So thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about sandbaths for gerbils, chinchillas, hamsters, any other animal like that, they all can use sandbaths <laughs> as the girls are playing, and it's a relatively good thing for their fur. So please like this video if you found this helpful, comment down below if you have any questions, and I hope you guys all have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching.